Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, good. How are you, Antonio? Nice. How was your day? My day was very good. Everything was great. Nice. What about you? How was your day today? Um, a little bit busy. I had a meeting at 12 noon from 12 to 1. In the good morning, evening. good evening. In the morning, I interviewed some people and uh, then I came back home. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yes. All right. So, welcome back, everybody. What time is it? What time is it? Can you hear me? 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Thank you, Olympia. Yes, 8 p.m. You're welcome. What time does your live stream start? What time does your life skill training start? Do you understand the question? I know. What is a life skill? Okay, los que no están respondiendo es porque no entienden o porque no quieren responder. Which one is it? I no don't know. How? Okay, do you see the chat? Yes. What's a live yes. skill? Como lo que puedes hacer, no. It's ability. Ability. Yeah. Ability. An ability that people use in life. An ability de la vida. So a life skill can change your life. A life ability skill. is cook. Yeah, like cooking. Yes. Cooking, swimming, driving, all I driving. Those skills, all those skills can. I dream. Life. I drink mojitos. You drink mojitos, okay. <laughs> all right, so that is a life skill. English is a life skill. It's, it's not a language, it's a life skill. It's a life skill. But, anyways, uh, what's today's date? Tuesday. 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 Which month? Which month? March. March. March is correct. What year? 2021. 2021. 2021. And the date is 16? Yeah, 16, huh? Yes. 16. 16. All right, good. Okay, so let's begin. Do you remember the topics we covered um, yesterday? Mm -hmm. Simple yes. past, simple present, and simple future. Exactly, past, present, and future. That is time contrast. That is time contrast. You speak about the past, you speak about the present, you speak about the future. Three different, um, three different tenses, right? When do we you when do we apply used to? When do we apply used to? In the past. Okay. Can you be a little bit more specific when you say in the past? When you want to set an action that you used to did, but in the present, you don't do it anymore. Excellent. Yes. Uh, we, we apply used to when we're making reference about actions that you did in the past, but you don't do anymore. Or vice versa. Things that you didn't do, 
but now you do, right? Do you remember your childhood? Yes. Yes. Okay. Did you enjoy your childhood? Yes, a lot, teacher. Yeah. Right? Can you think about one action that you did in the past, which you don't do anymore? Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you say jugar con muñecas? Play to dolls. Play with dolls. Play with dolls. Play with dolls. Yeah. So he said, when I was a little girl, I used to play with dolls. Do you play with dolls right now? No. 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 Or you can say, when I was a kid, I didn't used to eat vegetables. Now that I'm an adult, I do. So things you did in the past, but you don't do anymore, or things that you didn't do in the past, but now you do. Any questions or comments? No. No, okay, so let me share this. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? My goodness, I had it over here. I think it's this one here. No, that's not it. Where was, where is, oh, I think this is it. Okay. A beautiful okay. picture. Yes. Yes. All right. Can you see the sentences? Can you see the statements? Yes. Yes. Can somebody read the first one, please? Me. Go ahead. Has I has a child I used to? Uh huh. Play with dolls. It, um, hide and seek. Okay. Uh, play Seesaw. monopoly. Seesaw. Uh, go to the park. No. Two years ago. Two years ago is more recent. And what is the last one? In five years. In uh, five, in five years. years. I. Yes. All right. So um, I'm going to assign you to work in pairs. And you guys can discuss these three sentences. Breakout rooms. Create rooms. Can somebody please take a, a, a screenshot of this? Sure. I always forget to open my what's up. Okay, let me see this here. Okay, thank you very much. So let me assign the repair work and here we go. Speak the language, make money, get fluency, get accuracy, work on your pronunciation, practice new vocabulary. Go ahead. As I chill, not child, child is yes. chicos, chico. Uh -huh. chico, chico. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. chico, chica, chico, chico, es plural, puede ser ambos, perdón, it's singular, yes. but it can be 
a boy or a girl. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. As a child, I used to play cars with some friends, but now anymore. And you, Oli? Um. Hello, hello. What do you uh, uh, hi. when I was a child um, I didn't use Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, how are you today? I'm fine, yes, thank you. I'm great, thanks. Nice. How was your day? My day was fun. Good. What about you, Josephine? Oh, my day was tired. Okay. All right. Which question are you discussing right now? Um, the first one. Okay. Go ahead. Practice, please. I well you you have been in Machu Picchu two years ago. Two years ago I I claimed the mountains. Really? Oh, in wow. Peru? Yeah. Yes, yes. Really, it, really excited. <laughs> I imagine. Yeah. Yes. I imagine. <laughs> Laura, where is that picture of, of your profile? Mm -hmm. Ah, it's in the Pital. Mm, El Pital is picture. nice. Yeah, this is uh, a uh, beautiful place. It I is. never have been there in camping, but uh -huh. the last weekend I uh, went with my friends, but mm -hmm. it's really, really cold <laughs> at night. I yeah. said I never go to the <laughs> Pital. <laughs> oh, but it's a beautiful no. place. You have to go. Yes, yes. I, I need to play. Play. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a nice place. I went at the beginning of last year, and it was oh. very cold. It was. Yeah, cold. it's really really cold. So with I, moon, teacher. Huh? With moon. What do you mean? Well, I I left. We arrived there like about mm -hmm. eleven in the morning, and we returned the same day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the tour is. But at, uh -huh. at night it's really, really. I was freezing there, but yep. Yep. <laughs> it's an amazing experience. But yes. yeah, it's really cold. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. It's a little country, hot, yeah. cold, right. beach, yeah. mountain. Exactly. <laughs> we have everything, thank God. Yeah, in the yeah, little country. Thank God. <laughs> good, very good. Let me visit another room. Okay, thank okay. you. I used to play marbles. I used to play hip hop, scissors, mm, scissors. Uh, puzzles. I like to cook. I I told that I cook, but we use cookies, uh, churritos, <laughs> and fruity, and we drink and eat those snacks. snacks. Yes, yeah. <laughs> fruits, is, fruits are are not that old. What year are you talking about? I don't remember, but I'm 38 years old. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe when I was the years ago, I think that. Nine. Yeah, I remember fruits is like maybe 15 or 20 years ago, kind of, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just drink. I I drank Yuppie too. 
Yeah, I and remember Jupies. Uh huh. We the made turtles really with uh, plastic. Yeah, yeah. You have to use your. You have to be creative on how to use the the bottles. Yes. Okay. Are really uh, delicious. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let me visit another room. A lot, a lot money, but the people, the tip, the people say is is a hard work. Yes. What is hard work? Huh? What? What is hard work? Eh, un trabajo eh, como duro. Yeah, but which work are you talking about? About the restaurant. Oh, yeah. If you're a waiter, a waitress, or a chef, it can be very difficult. Yes. Yes, teach. Right. Okay, let's go back to the main session. Thank you, teacher. All right, welcome back. Um, any questions on how to talk about past events, uh, present events, or future events? Any questions or comments? No, teacher. Okay, good. So remember the past has simple past, past perfect, past continuous. Present, we have simple present, uh, um, Present continuous, present perfect, and simple future, future continuous, future perfect, and, and, and so on. All right. So if you don't have any questions, uh, what was the topic that we discussed yesterday? Did we talk about a topic? No? I don't remember this year. Okay. Let me share this with you. How, how many meals do Salvadorians eat? Three. Three. What are the names? Uh, the, uh, breakfast, breakfast, dinner, and lunch. Lunch and dinner. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What is another form to say dinner in English? Do you remember this word that I'm putting in the chat? Supper. Supper. Uh, supper. 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 Do you know supper. the difference between supper and, uh, and dinner? No. No. I don't know. Let me, no, give you, no. let me give you an example. La última cena in English, you say the last supper. Mm. Now, every day, every day we eat dinner. Last Saturday, we celebrated my brother's graduation with a nice supper. So can you guess the difference? Yeah. yeah. What's the I'm, difference? I'm a little confused. Okay. Maybe it's something special? Yes. Or no? Yes, that's exactly what it is. Every day we eat dinner. But if you're eating dinner for a special occasion, then you say supper. So I can say, oh, you know, my sister is graduated in three weeks, so we're going to offer a supper. Can you come? You see what I mean? Yes. Yes. All right, good. So any meaning, if the if the food has any meaning, then you say supper. Got it? Got it. Okay. Yes, Glenda, that is the difference. So let me show you this. Close it. Share again, share, and here we go. Can you see the questions? Yes. 
Okay. What is the topic? It's about uh, breakfast. Yes, breakfast. it's about breakfast. Remember, breakfast. when you say desayuno, you say breakfast. breakfast. When you breakfast. say quebrar, you say break. So it's exactly the same word, but different pronunciation. Okay, can somebody please share the questions in the WhatsApp chat? Teacher, I have a question. Ask me. And the five, number five. Yeah. What is canteen? Can, canteen. Can, canteen. Can, canteen is like a cafeteria. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a cantina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, maybe as an appetizer, you know, you drink and you eat, uh, you bite the sandwich. Yeah, but canteen is like a cafeteria. Okay, um, let me see. Did somebody share the questions? You see this here? Excellent. So let me yes. reassign you. Remember, don't stay quiet. This is the space for you to practice, to improve your uh, fluency, your accuracy, and all those things related with speaking. So recreate, recreate. Yeah. Okay, for clarifying. No problem. Okay, here we go. And remember, try to stay in a quiet environment. So if you're listening to music or somebody's watching TV, make sure that you have your microphone. En teoría, Glenda? 
Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. The question I have for breakfast. Let, let me see. Uh, one, two, right there. So Glenda, okay, I'm going to move you. Oh, there he is. Isaac, can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes. I said, yes. okay, go ahead. So practice, please. Thank you. All right, go ahead. It's like Molly. The news. Hey. I the news. <laughs> <laughs> I I saw the news. <laughs> and and drink a lot of water because I don't like the water, but I have a problem with the maldiorins. Uh, I, I, I don't drink water. <laughs> okay. Uh, Es como una regla que me pongo tomar 32 onzas en la mañana, otra 32 onzas mediodía y 32 onzas en la tarde. Lo tengo medida. It's a suggest uh, of your doctor. Mm, I, I don't understand. Es una did, sugerencia. Yeah, did the doctor recommend it to you? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. We are in the same years we, we, when we were a child. We are, the, we are the same generation. Ah, yes, we are the same generation. When were you born? I was born Sorry? in a... When were you I was born? born? Yeah, go ahead, Juan Carlos. I'm born, I was born in Suquitoto. Yeah, but when? Sorry? When? When? Uh -huh. uh, what year? Cuando? Yeah, uh, what year? Okay. I, I, I'm born. I was born. I was born in 1986. 1986? 1986, yeah. So you're like 34 years old? Yes, I am. Good, good. What about you, Max? Okay, good evening, everyone. Hello. I was born. Hello, can you hear me, right? Yeah, I can yes, hear you yes. perfectly. Yes. yes good, night. good night, everything. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, good I night. was born in 1975. 1975? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So you're 44? Yeah, something 44. This year, 45. Okay. okay. Okay, you look younger. <laughs> Something you do. Like that. You do. Yeah. What about but you? The exercise is good, teacher. Yeah, yeah. Exercise keeps you healthy. And, and eat some vegetable and fruit in the morning is very excellent. Yeah. First food that you can eat in the morning, you can try one fruit in the morning is the best. Yes. Yeah, your stomach is empty, so it absorbs all the uh, nutrition and uh, in, in in each fruit. That okay. That 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 recommends some 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 doctor, right? Yeah, 
You know, doctors, they tell you, like, imagine, imagine that you don't have time to prepare your breakfast. Uh, they recommend one banana and one glass of orange juice. And you have all that your body needs. Now, the problem is that you will be hungry, but your body can function well. Excellent. That, that's, that's great. Yeah. That's the same. The, the, the best for the body. Yeah, exactly. All right. Let me visit another room. Danny. I usually eat in my home. My house. I just stay only my home. Do you guys have breakfast at home or outside? At home, teacher. Yes, at home or in my job. Okay. And do you usually eat a, a, a traditional breakfast or pupusas? Pupusas. Sometimes, tra sometimes pupusas, but um, hardly ever I eat um, pancake. Pancakes. But um, every day, usually, I usually eat uh, milk with uh, cereal. With cereal. Cereal, yes. Cereal is good. The cereal is good. All right, let me visit another room. Teacher, I think that is like yes. lunch. we don't understand the question number nine. Number nine, can you eat lunch style food or okay? The the question is imagine it's seven in the morning. Okay. Can you eat food that is traditionally eaten only in lunch? Like, can you eat chicken at seven in the morning? Can you? No. Can, can you eat a soup at eight in the morning? No. Okay. No. So that is the question. <laughs> now, in El Salvador, uh, in some cases, dinner is very similar to breakfast. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's true. The pupusas, uh, eggs with right. beans. Yeah, cream, cheese, and, and, and yeah, ah, things. yes, yes, the dinner is, is very similar, right? To breakfast, right? Ah, okay, we understand. Okay, now. thank yeah. you. All right, <laughs> this is room four. Let me go to room five. Okay, <laughs> bye, teacher. Friends, but you're right, with COVID, we have to. <laughs> breakfast with social distance yeah yeah okay number five yeah mm, sorry no no maybe okay did you ever eat breakfast beans but the way maybe are different Yes. In, in the but in the case of United States, the breakfast are always eggs and sausages and tocino. Como, how do you say tocino? Eh? Tocino, tocino. Bacon. 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 B A C O N, bacon. Bacon. Okay. Thanks. Yes. Okay. I think it was bagel. I don't know. <laughs> bagel, bagels are delicious. I like bagels. I bagel. don't like because have bacon. I don't. I don't like. It. Yeah. Ba well, bagel. Ba bagels can be made with different ingredients. Yeah. Uh, cheese cream and, and things like that. But bagels are delicious. Yes. Very delicious. Mm. All right, let me visit another room. Okay, teacher, thank you. Mm -hmm.
eh, macar ¿Cómo se dice? Ay, le, eh, macaron, no. Macaroni. Spaghetti, ya. Yeah. Spaghetti, spaghetti for for lunch. Mm. Because uh, it's my favorite food. Really? Yeah. Mm. I can to eat uh, all days. Wow. <laughs> What? Uh, uh, spaghetti? Yeah. Yeah, spaghetti can be delicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like because it's pasta and I fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fast. <laughs> yeah, that's Damn, because, yeah, uh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, because I am on a diet now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is your favorite uh, ingredient that you mix uh, spaghetti with? Um... Sauce of tomato and uh -huh. cheese. Okay. Do you like Albahaca? Do you like mushrooms? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What I about like. shrimp? Uh, no. Shrimp don't like. I don't uh, like. What about meatballs? Uh, meatballs. Sometimes I like to, to prepare spaghetti with it. Yeah, I, I love the way my wife prepares uh, spaghetti. She makes it so delicious. <laughs> With okay. meat or, or mushroom? Uh, well, it depends. You know, sometimes she puts a uh, mushroom, sometimes meat, sometimes shrimp. Uh, so it depends what we have available. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they're really good. It sounds delicious. Yeah. Yeah, very delicious. <laughs> All right, let me visit one more room before we go back to the main session. Feel very healthy uh, regularly, but sometimes I try to be a little healthy. For example, to eat one one fruit, for example, for example, tangerine or orange. Just eat one orange and then eat. Uh, Uh, the the food that we, we have in our in our house, for example, fryer bean, uh, coffee, bread, uh, fried bananas. But some sometimes when when I can, I try to eat one fruit in the morning, and that that's that's I try to my breakfast is to be healthy. But sometimes uh, we don't have the the money for for another for another food, okay? Okay. Okay. Remember, you say you try plantain. Please plantain. repeat, teacher. Fried yeah. plantain. A fried plantain, not fried yeah. bananas. No, nah, banana is the fruit. If you want to say platano, you say plantain. Plantain. Thank you a let, lot. Let, let, let me write it. Plant, plantain. It's right there in the chat. Plantain. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Let me visit Fancy. another room. Okay. It's a little bit hard to me. Try to eat, for example, chicken or meat for breakfast. I, I cannot do that. And you? You, you eat different food. Yeah. I, okay. I, in my case, it's, it's the same. I don't have a style for food. I, I eat.
All right, welcome back. Any questions or comments about breakfast? Not teacher. Not teacher. Okay. Do you usually eat the traditional Salvadorian breakfast or do you prefer pupusas? I prefer the typical breakfast with beans, eggs, cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Jalapeno. I prefer both. Yeah, both are good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I go for the traditional one uh, more. It's healthy. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So, um, how do you say pay attention? You know, I go like this because my, my fingers are clean. Um, how do you say si yo comiera saludable? If I eat, if I eat, you're saying si yo como. If I yo como, si yo eat, if I eat healthy food. One more time. If I eat healthy food. Okay, si como saludable. But the question is, how do you say? Si yo comiera saludable. If I eaten, if I eaten healthy. If I ate healthy. Right, Glenda. If I ate healthy. Okay. Listen to this. Imagine you go to the doctors, you go to the clinic, mm -hmm. and the doctor tells you, si usted se tomara la medicina, how do you say that? If you took the medicine. If you took the medicine, these examples are called second conditional. What is the function of the second conditional? You're gonna find this topic in the platform. You use the second conditional when you're talking about hypothetical things. Unreal situations. Unreal situation, exactly. How do you say si yo fuera Mexico? If, if, I, if I went to Mexico. Mexico. I went Very to Mexico. Good. Very good. So if I went to Mexico, if I if I went to Mexico. I eat Mexican food. <laughs> I would eat Mexican food. I will Mexican food. <laughs> Mexico is a beautiful country. And the, and, the, and the food is delicious. Oh, my God. Okay. So, if I went to Mexico, how do you say, si yo te dijera la verdad? If I if told I, you the truth. The truth. Excellent. If I, I told you the, the, the right? truth. If I told you the truth. So, once again, listen to this. If you're using the second conditional, it's because what you're saying, it's not true. What you're saying is hypothetical. Si yo fuera México, nada me garantiza que voy a ir. Si yo te dijera la verdad, nada garantiza que se lo voy a decir. Uh, if you took the medicine, si usted se tomara la medicina, nothing guarantees the doctor that you will take the medicine. So when you're using the second conditional, you need to use the simple past structure. How do you say, si yo no tuviera moto? Simple past. If I, did, if I didn't have a motorcycle. motorcycle. Excellent. If I didn't have a motorcycle. <laughs> So, whether the information is positive or negative, you have to use the simple past form. So, how do you say, listen carefully, si ellos estuvieran aquí? If they were here. Excellent. If they were here. Now, what is the past? What is the past form of verb to be? 
did was and where was the where excellent so am is are are the three forms of verb to be in present was were is for past however when you're using second conditional you will use were for everybody mm. how do you say si yo fuera usted if i were you if i were you how do you say si usted fuese yo if you were if me, you were me. me. Uh -huh. you were how do you me. say si yo fuera ingeniero if i were ingeniero if i were ingeniero if i were an engineer. So, listen to this. We always use the simple past structure. <clears throat> However, when we're talking about verb to be, you need to use word. word. If I were you. If I were you. I were. Any questions? So, verb was does not exist. How do you say si estuviera soleado? If, if, if the weather sunny. were sunny. 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 So you can say if the weather were sunny or if it were sunny. And teacher, is yes. if, si estuvieras aquí, if you were here. If you were here, exactly. Uh, if you were it's here. It's something like, I wish you were here. <laughs> I wish you were here, right. And, and you know, like music, you know, like um, music, when you analyze, let's say you go to YouTube and you okay. put uh, music with second conditional, you will be surprised to see uh, all the songs that the name is uh, with the second condition, like if you were here. Yeah. Okay, thank you a lot. Uh -huh. now, now, do you remember the past tense of can? Can, yes. What is the past tense of can? Could, could. Could. How do you say, si yo no pudiera ayudarlo? I wouldn't help you. If I couldn't help you. How do you say, si usted no pudiera ayudarme? If, if you couldn't could help me. Help me. Uh -huh. How do you say, si yo escribiera en inglés? If I could, no. If I, if I wrote. If I wrote in English. If I wrote in English. How do you say, if yo leyera en inglés? If I read. If I read in English. Excellent. Excellent. So once again, you know, like when, when you connect to this session, the idea is that you practice as much as possible, especially if this is the only place that you have to practice. So any questions or comments? Uh, I have sure. a little question, teacher. Yes, about, ask me. About, about a little of the past in, in the last slide on the, on the question. Yes, and that means the, the word canteen. Yes. Canteen means mean, uh, a place for, for to eat drink, food, like or, a cafeteria. Or, or, or. It's like That's a cafeteria. Like a yes. Okay. Okay, thank you a lot. Sure. Sorry sure. About. Yeah, no problem. Anybody else? Any questions? How do you say si usted hablara solo inglés? You only if you spoke. If you spoke only in only in English. Spoke only in English. If you spoke, if you spoke only in English. Okay, so this is what we will do. Listen to this. Uh, learning another language is a process. How do you say de la noche a la mañana? I think it's a phrase of verbs. Overnight. Overnight. Overnight means de la noche a la mañana. So you're not going to learn English overnight. It's a process. It's a process. And this process involves different activities. 
So imagine that you're speaking with someone that is in basic one and you want to give this person advice. Si usted hablara solo inglés, si usted aprendiera cinco palabras diarias, si usted escribiera, si usted leyera. So when you're giving advice and you're using the second conditional, you need to use the past form of the verb. Any question? No questions? Not to share. Okay. Um, this is going to be our last activity. Get in pairs and give advice on how a person can accelerate the process of learning English. So, here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today? No. no. Okay, so once again, thanks for your time. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Don't forget to write, uh, to work on the platform. So have a, have a good night. Sleep well. Good night. Bye-bye. 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 B